So here in uh, Earth School, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how this works. So this is a uh, oh, heaven. Which is good. And this is Earth. So then there's a spirit molecule created by God. And then it gets sent down here and it becomes a particle. And that's in particle. Or atom. Okay. And the particle is destroyed. It becomes part of something else. It goes back up here. And it becomes a molecule. And then it's sent back down here. And it becomes a plant life. And then, then that gets eaten by a mammal. Okay. Whatever. Okay, see that? Listen here. When this is eaten in the body, okay, this here gets sent back up to heaven. Okay. And then it turns into plant life. And then the plants, it gets bigger. And then it gets sent back down. And then the animal. And this dies. And this gets sent back up. And becomes an animal. In heaven. And then this gets sent back down. And this gets sent back down here and then, and then into a human body here. Okay? And then and then this gets sent back up into an angel. Uh, angel. And not that complicated. Okay. Part Adam. It wants to be alive. But. But. Uh, but. Uh, it needs. Reason. To. Reason. So. It needs. And destroy for pleasure. Pleasure each destroys pleasure. Each Destruction and then pleasure is a pleasing oneself. Okay, but all these things. Okay, became reason to live. And these things were loved. So, so, then there was love. And there was God. Okay, so then there was love. Out of the bad came good.
Hello children and welcome to 101 Other worldly retarded highly complicated facts So what is an other worldly retarded complicated fact ah we we shall see so first here you see usually that is the point where two people stop at or disagree with now let's see why here i have already made a list for you to try and understand these things so you have one and the other you have everything and nothing you have love and hate you have faith and unbeliever you have yes and you have no these are called the paradoxes you have others in the back and these keep on going forever and ever okay so now when when you have these paradoxes here these also line up see i have drawn them out for you here lining up paradoxes and once you come to an understanding that one cannot have itself without the other then you get a paradox so once you come to a new understanding of what a paradox even is with your little mind, then you can start connecting the paradoxes to make even better ones. Well, children, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. <laughs>